Hi and welcome, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'm going to be revealing five ways to trigger a man's devotion for you. And I'm not just talking about surface attraction, I'm talking about the real deal, deep down, heart connected, bonded devotion that lasts a lifetime. But before I continue, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Please comment below. I want to hear about you, what your needs are and how I can support you and your experience with this topic specifically as well and anything else you want to share with me. Also, please be sure to give this video the thumbs up. So what is it that you can do to trigger deep devotion with a man? Most of the programs out there and videos out there often talk about the surface stuff, how to get initial interest. Well, this video is somewhat about how to get initial interest, but it's really the kind of stuff that lasts a lifetime, that really keeps the passion, the interest, the connection deep and strong so that you can actually experience finally a really beautiful long-term relationship. This is perfect for someone who is single and dating and also for someone who's currently in a relationship who wants to improve their connection. So let's get started. Number one, respect him in his way. Each of us have an idea of what respect means and on many levels we have some similar ideas of what this means and yet as an individual person we have some specific ways that really applies to us uniquely that makes us feel respected by another person. Which means if you wanna build a deep devoted connection with your man or a future man, it's important to know what respect means to him. What it is that you can do to make him feel really valued, needed, wanted, appreciated. Now this is not really so much about the five love languages which you may have heard of. This goes onto a little bit of a different kind of tangent. For example, some men feel really respected when a woman thanks him when he pays for dinner. Now, there are plenty of women that never thank a man for paying them for dinner and it can be a massive turn off because it's like they just expect a man to pay for everything. So if you want a man to feel respected, one way you can do that is by thanking him very clearly for paying for dinner, for taking you out on a date or whatever it is, paying for the movies or lunch, you get my drift. And yet it's one of those things you can do to make a man feel respected. And of course, you'll be able to work out these kind of things specifically that work for him over time. Another example is I was coaching a couple of years ago and the guy had a real problem with the fact that his girlfriend would never respond to his text messages when she was out with girlfriends. So he wasn't one of those types who was sending crazy messages all night trying to get her attention because he was jealous and feeling insecure, but he may have just asked a quick question and she just wouldn't respond sometimes not for hours and hours or not even until the next day and he could see that she had seen the message and this was something that made him feel really you know undervalued not respected and therefore it was creating a bit of a problem and so we had to work together because she really didn't see the value in responding to him and yet he was very adamant that this would be something that would actually make him feel better in the relationship so that's an example a big one for me is which is actually one of those things for many people is when people honor their word I feel respected when someone follows through with what they say they're going to do anyone who knows me know that's one of my things and for me it's not that people can't change their plans they absolutely can things change all the time but it's about communicating respectfully in my way that um, creates a sense of safety for me within the relationship many people have this one but not everybody places the same value in this kind of thing so it's important for you to work out what it is that makes your partner tick what it is that makes your man feel really really amazing around you and valued and respected uh, to help you with this i have a fabulous free gift called five easy ways to get a man to commit and i share some specific specific tips in there that relate to this idea of respect and how people 
can open up their hearts more towards you when you show up in a certain way with them. So check out the link to that right below in the description. The next point is don't nag him. I know how easy it is to want to nag. And sometimes we don't think we're nagging. We think we're actually explaining or saying what we need to feel good in the relationship. It's kind of like we think we're requesting something when in actual fact, we're just whinging and whining. One of the hugest, biggest turnoffs for anybody is when someone is constantly nagging at you and saying things that make you feel like you're always doing something wrong. Wronging someone over and over and over again, sometimes on a daily, multiple times a day uh, basis, can really eat at someone's soul. So a way that someone feels respected is if we actually articulate clearly at the right time what it is that we're struggling with within the relationship so that you can open up the line of conversation to work it out. Because nagging is often done by women because they're not feeling confident enough to really be vulnerable to actually explain explicitly what it is that's troubling them within the relationship. Even in the early stages of dating, it's very common for women to make jokes about the things that don't feel good that's happening between a man and a woman or between two people. Rather than actually putting it out there clearly, it becomes a game. So the overall message here is be courageous to express your needs without drama. The next point is number three, listen to him, don't speak for him. Women are really good at this, they can sometimes ask a man a question, a really important question about something that is a little bit deeper about the relationship they'd really like to talk about or about something that he's going through personally. And instead of giving the man space to think and feel and collect his thoughts so he can actually express himself with clarity and in a way that's probably received well, women can start making suggestions, suggesting what he's thinking, what he's feeling. I remember once uh, dating a guy many years ago and I asked him a question and I suggested to him what he might be thinking instead of waiting for him to speak. And he said to me very clearly, please don't tell me what you think I'm thinking. He then said, you don't know what I'm thinking. And just because I'm not speaking, it doesn't mean that I don't have my own thoughts. So I learned then to zip my mouth and actually allow man time to think and feel and collect himself. And even for women, if someone asks you something deep and personal or something that really needs a little bit of thought, it's not necessarily easy to respond in two seconds. Sometimes we need time to really go in deep within ourselves to find the words to articulate how we're thinking and feeling. Sometimes we don't even know what we're thinking and feeling because we haven't sat down long enough in some silence to even you know, put our thoughts together. And men, generally struggle more than women do when it comes to articulating their thoughts, feelings, and so forth, particularly when it comes to matters of the heart. So if you're having a deep and meaningful conversation with a man, it's imperative that you be a little shushy and allow him time to think and speak. He will feel highly respected, which allows that sense of devotion and connection to build, which is required for a deeply connected, devoted partnership. And so this is something that women must learn to do so that they can actually build that deeper devotion with the man. Also, what a man is thinking and feeling may be very different to what you're assuming. And so this is why it's so important because we all have insecurities from time to time. We all have triggers and sometimes a man is doing something for a very different reason than you might think he is. And when you find out what it is, you might actually feel quite a lot better about what's actually taking place, which leads me to my next point, which is replace conflict with curiosity. Now you can't get rid of all conflict. But one way that you can diffuse conflict really quickly, which is choose the path of curiosity. When you show that you're curious about your man and his feelings, this allows you to have a deeper connection, a deeper understanding. This point leads on from listening, but it's also about asking the right questions. 
How are you perceiving that situation? How do you feel about that? I'd love your thoughts on X, Y, and Z. When that happened yesterday between us, when you said this thing to me, my perspective was this. How are you thinking about it? Was that the same for you? When you ask him these kind of exploratory questions, you're seeking to understand him rather than make him wrong. Because as I said earlier, making someone wrong never feels good. It doesn't open up the path to devotion. It doesn't open people's hearts either. It closes us down. So when we assume things and don't ask questions, when we're pushing our ideas, our triggers, our insecurities on someone constantly without asking those important questions, without trying to solve a problem together as a team, then it becomes a battle. It becomes an ego game. The conflict becomes much deeper and more difficult to resolve. So choose the path of curiosity. The last point is don't forget who you are. One of the quickest ways to actually create a disconnection in a relationship is when we are disconnected to ourselves. If you would like to have a loving, tender, sexy relationship with a man, then it's really important that you keep that loving, sexy relationship happening with yourself. You've got to stay in love with you. You've got to stay devoted to you and your own interests. You've got to keep doing the things that you love that bring you joy, whether it's painting, whether it's seeing friends, whether it's dancing. I go on about this in a number of my videos because it's one of those things that so many people forget to do. They lose their sense of self because they get so invested and entrenched in the relationship that Sometimes it happens naturally, even if the relationship is quite good, but it particularly happens when the relationship isn't flowing. And because of that, the women get so obsessed with making the relationship work that they lose themselves. And this happens time and time again and is one of those massive issues when it comes to lasting attraction and devotion. So there you have it. Keep looking after you, keep being devoted to yourself, which creates devotion with another. So I hope those tips have helped you. Now, if you know that you do tend to lose that connection with yourself, I have a fantastic gift called Never Lose Him. It is one of the most deepest programs I have, which works on you, your emotions, how you show up in life, how you connect with men, how you deal with your emotions. And when we're stressed and anxious in a relationship, we're typically not very good at listening to another. We're typically not very good at choosing the path of curiosity. So if you want to build deeper connection with yourself, build deeper connections with the man, then please check out Never Lose Him. The link is right below in the description. I teach groundbreaking information about intimacy that every woman needs to know. Well, that wraps up this topic for today. I'd love to hear from you, so please comment below and let me know how this topic has supported you or if there's anything you'd like me to do a video on or anything else. Of course, please subscribe to this channel, hit that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Also, don't forget that gift that I shared with you earlier. The links are below in the description. Also, please share this with a friend who might be struggling with getting that devotion happening between a man that they're interested in or any of the topics in this video that may relate to them. And of course, please give this video the thumbs up it's been an honor to have you here with me. I treasure you and I look forward to seeing you at my next hot topic.